My passion is really to see my sons help people. Here we have the latest tools and we also have very, very brilliant scientists. The combination that we have here is really unique. It is world class, definitely. I spent 11 years in America. I'd work for the best institutions in the US, but I always wanted my science to be close to where my heart is, and my heart has always been in Africa. I grew up in a malaria infested area and people used to die a lot at very early age. It affected me but at the same time pushed me to really make a difference. My mother was uneducated, my father was also uneducated. They were very smart people, just unlucky that they never had the chance to go to school. They knew that to be very successful in life, you have to work hard. It is only when you plan something that you'll be able to harvest it. My father used to say this. My dream would be to see Africa participate in the global scientific community at the same level as other communities. Really see science drive many decisions that we make. There are several projects ongoing. One example is a project on tracking viruses sitting at the interface between the animal and the human population, and that's extremely important because every two, three years we hear of an outbreak of Ebola and diseases of unknown origin, just score of people dying. If we can set a system for us to immediately understand what it is, it would be huge. I'm who I am today because many people helped my hands and I would like to hold the hands of many other people, have them cross the bridge and get to really that sophisticated scientist that they would like to be because we really need many of those in Africa. Mm -hmm.